Hello, open that door listeners and watchers. This is Hollis, your host, and I am going to start popping on on Mondays just to give you a reminder of who you really are and encouragement, love, and hope and strength and an invitation and permission to show up as who you truly are in this world. So I want to say, what if on this beautiful Monday in August, as we move into fall, the end of summer, that idea you have in yourself or that hope or dream or vision that seems outrageous, that seems lofty, um, off the charts, unrealistic, um, like a fantasy, something in you that you've thought about or that's called to you, but you've said, there's no way, or you've just kept it as a fantasy, kept it in that realm of dream. What if that vision could be reality for you? And I'm not talking, you know, that it could be, I mean, everybody has their own vision, but it could be jets and private planes and mansions and, but I don't think it's material that really calls to us. I think it is uh, us showing up in the world within a lifestyle or vision that can be invented and created out of nothing, that can be uniquely, divinely yours. And what if we are dismissing the whole reason why we're here in the first place? the extraordinariness of us that we whittle down to ordinary or that we turn away from the magic that is within us and all around us. We try to make logical and rational what is truly miraculous. We try to reason and find proof and that it's just ordinary. And so we have these extraordinary dreams inside of us or callings or something that wants to take shape and be created through us that doesn't exist yet because it wants to come through us uniquely. What if we gave over to that as, as our divine assignment, as the path that we are supposed to be on and not dismiss? It takes an extraordinary leap of faith to start trusting that, to see that a fantasy can actually become reality. It takes an extraordinary amount of faith and a belief that nothing is bigger than you're capable of and that there is a way forward. And possibility means that there is a means to an end, that there is a way to bring into the world what starts as an idea, because everything starts as an idea. Everything starts as uh, energy that comes from the great unknown, the great beyond, the universe, God, whatever you want to call it. So today, today I, I want to just say perhaps that nudge in you that seems outrageous and audacious and totally out of touch and out of range and so selfish and ridiculous and extreme and irresponsible. What if that is actually the life you're supposed to be leading and creating from and through? And what if that was the greatest way you could serve the world by trusting it and moving forward and taking divine inspired action toward that mystery that vision that is tugging at you and calling to you. I just want to see what comes up for you as you ask yourself that maybe that's the truth for you and that's the way forward. And what would the world be if all of us were trusting the calling, whatever uniquely that is for us. It's different for each of us because we're all different. And yet in unison and in connection and cooperation, what if we all were trusting the path that's uniquely ours 
in service of bringing something forward that is big enough for everybody. And what if that wasn't outrageous? What if that was reality? <laughs> anyway, I want to say that I see you. I believe in you. I trust that spirit inside of you that is trying to get your attention, wants to be heard, and wants to help lead your life forward. We have a precious number of days, and I invite you to lean into what lights your heart on fire, because that's your truth. We rarely find it up here. We always find it down here. As I point to my heart, I, I'm an advocate for you. And I celebrate you. And I stand for your highest good. So happy Monday. And on Thursday, now I will be um, presenting interviews that I have with extraordinary people who find ways forward through challenges and difficulties and self-doubt and all the things that get in our way externally and internally. So I'll, I'll be back on Thursday. Uh, but in the meantime, you rock. <laughs>